Hello, David Harper of the Bionic Turtle with a brief tutorial on the question, what is a random variable? And I mean, of course, in the context of professional finance and as a key building block to quantitative finance. To answer that question, I went back several months and pulled the stock price history for Google, calculated the daily returns, so that's daily periodic returns, and then plotted those on a histogram that I'm showing here. So this is a frequency chart showing us, for example, here at the peak, that most of the daily returns for Google's stock price over this historical period were a little bit above zero. This bar chart here, this bar here is pretty close to 0.06%, just a little bit above zero. So this is the frequency plot historically of where the daily periodic returns for Google stock are coming out. Now those daily periodic returns, we could say for modeling purposes are a random variable. So a random variable is anything that we want to treat as an unknown, but not entirely unknown. We want to be able to characterize the contours of that random variable. So the way this works is we have something like an asset return. This could be any number of things in the financial market. This could be stock price it levels. This could be stock price returns like we look, we're looking at here with Google. This could be commodity prices. This could be bond yields. This could be exchange rates. And so we want, we want to say that, well, we're not, we don't know what they are going to be, but we would like to describe them with the random variable. And in turn, we would like to characterize the random variable with a distribution function. So this distribution function plays an enormous role in quantitative finance in characterizing the random variable that describes the asset returns or other financial variables that we want to understand. And with those distributions, typically we are looking for, really, there's two basic looks there, the, dis, the dis, cumulative distribution or distribution where we want to say that's capital F of X is the, what is the, this is the question, what is the probability that a random variable X, that's that large X here, is going to be less than or equal to some value X. So if going back to the Google example, that might be, well, on a daily basis, because again, these are daily returns, what's the probability our random variable X, which is a periodic return that we don't know, is going to be, say, less than zero or somewhere here on the distribution? Or we typically, the other question we ask is a density question. Note here, it's denoted with small fx. And what is the probability that our random variable x is approximately equal to some value x? I say approximately because it matters whether the distribution is discrete or continuous. If it's discrete, we can say probability of x is equal to x. If it's continuous, we really have to specify an interval. But that's for another topic. And in this case, uh, example would be, what's the probability that on a daily basis, Google's stock, Google's price return, remember that's our random variable, is going to be about 1%. So that instead of a less than question, I ask a, uh, a specifically local question. But either of those two questions are about the distribution function that again characterizes the random variable, which in this case, but in a, this is only one case of the random variable describing the date Google's daily periodic return. So to recap, that basic process is we want to understand something like an asset return. We describe it with a random variable. We characterize the random variable with a distribution function. What I also want to say is that there are many different random variables and they each can be characterized by many different distributions. One of the fun things in quantitative finance is that you could spend a lifetime looking at all of the different distributions. On a one level, I like to say they're nothing more than uh, plots or line drawings that are mathematically clean. But the math between different, uh, among different distributions can be quite compl complex. But just for example, if we take one six-sided die 
and roll that. That's characterized by a uniform distribution, which is a flat line, because there's an equal chance of each one, each uh, face of this die as an outcome. So a single die is a random variable that's characterized with a uniform distribution. Imagine a flat line with only six outcomes. The probability of each is one over six. Now, what if we roll several dice together and either sum or average them? That turns out to approximate the greater the number of these die. The average or summation of those die is going to approximate the normal distribution or that bell curve that we're most familiar with. So notice how I changed the random variable here. I just went to a summation or average of many dice, and I've got a different distribution to characterize that. And it goes on and on and on. Here's just one example. If I want to characterize an operational process and a breakdown in that, maybe uh, we have a machine and it's going to break, and what's the frequency of those breaks over, over time, we would use typically something like the Poisson distribution, a discrete distribution that's different from the uniform and the normal. So you can see that we have many different uh, random variables and they can be described by many different distributions and that's before we even get to the question of how w might we even combine these uh, multiple variables into functions or distributions that describe those phenomena that are inevitably characterized by multiple random variables. So I hope this was a helpful introduction to understanding what a random variable is and now we can see that typically there's some kind of financial asset return or variable that we is unknown to us. It's random but not so random that we want to describe it with a blank page, we would like to characterize that random variable with a distribution function and typically that distribution function will be either, either uh, in turn described with a distribution question or a density function. Thanks very much.